People always ask, you know, if you're not for an experiment no more, what do you still have them for? We have them for you guys. People come from all parts of our world. Fish you should come down here, take a boat ride, and see our fish. Huh. Just a fun part of the tour. Look at all those fish. Oh, look. Sometimes they're hungry, sometimes they're not. This really depends who wants to eat and who doesn't. <laughs> Oh, look behind us. <laughs> That's where they actually are. We sat on the wrong side. It's okay, buddy. Look, there's a few. Look, they'll come. Who's throwing what? Oh, she's throwing the food. She's got there it. She. She's got it, so we can see the fish, bud. Look. Look at all of them. They're so hungry. Look at how hungry they are. <laughs> and you think they're starving because they've actually been fed 31 other times today. Oh my gosh. They get fed every that. time the tour goes out. I think they need Whoa. a 33rd. Obviously. Whoa. This is Did everybody crazy. on both sides of my boat see some fish? Yeah. If you did not, they're right there. Whoa. They're right there. They're mainly in the water. <laughs> we can't take you any further back than this area because the ceiling gets really low back here and we'll get stuck on the roof. But that's the back wall. You're not missing anything. That's literally as far back as we go. You guys are right now roughly 140 feet underneath the Lost Sea Welcome sign at the end of the driveway. Whoa. At least we know one fish is above land. Yes, basically. <laughs> That'd be Zeke. <laughs> I had a lady ask me if he was still alive, and I was like, well, his case has no water, and he's screwed to a log. So <laughs> he's, if he's alive, he's probably very angry. He hasn't been fed since 1985. So he's no. probably a very, very angry fish. <laughs> We're going to head over here to this side of the lake room now. Feel free to name some fish if you want to. Everybody else does. Look, Tour have named them. People have named them. I've worked here since about 2007. I have named six of the fish, because why not? Mm. I have named three boys and three girls. The boys are Chandler, Joey, and Ross, and the girls are Phoebe, Monica, and Rachel. And believe it or not, they're all friends. That's what I say, Bob. That's all I thought that was a that was a good Bob. Now, if you guys look directly in front of the boat towards the ceiling. You're going to see a giant flat area right through there. That is the site of our most recent rockfall. I say most nice. recent, but that was roughly 2,000 years ago. Nine tons of rock fell from here because of water erosion. How we know that, we had samples of drapery underneath it taken off an isotope tested. We know when the rock fell and where it fell from the isotope testing. There it is. Look, there's a rock. That's Can't oddly wait for the next square one. right there. You will see some tiny stalactites hanging down from the ceiling underneath this area. Those are known as soda straws because they're hollow on the inside like a soda straw. You could break them off and drink out of them, but they Look, would smell like a lot of them. Have have right, the the That's the rock. And probably not taste too good. Well, it tastes like a little bit like rust. That's the rock piece that fell off. If you get dripped on by water, do not panic or freak out. Stalactites drip water to form. They say if you get dripped on, it's 24 hours of good luck, and we call it cave kisses. Aww, cave kiss. <laughs> if you don't get dripped on, don't feel left out. We're actually passing underneath the restrooms. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We're underneath the parking lot, just making sure you guys are awake and paying attention. If you weren't, you are now. Bessie is the most active stalactite in the cave. Oh, I just got dripped on. Oh, I got dripped on. <laughs> It's just a stalactite giving you kisses. We got kisses. <laughs> Underneath the parking lot where you parked your car. Oh, my God, tripped off. Right, yeah, oh, no, that's that like Coke you dropped. We'll Wait. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed your boat ride today. Isaac, stop it. Isaac, stop it. Don't do that. You want to have to swim in this 50-foot yeah, water? I would. All the way over there? Very happily. Mm -hmm. above the lake there. Is that natural? The water, like the waterfall you're saying? Yeah. We actually are fed by that, so that's how she's one of the springs that actually feeds our lake. She's actually coming from the back side of the mountain, like in a little crevice, and it comes down into the cave. Yes, sir. We are fed by underground springs and rainfall to this day. That's what actually helps feed our lake. Yes, sir. I'll 
park the boat, and then we'll get the rest of our group, and we'll head out, and we will be done. How low was the water during the drought? Oh my gosh, so back in 2007, that was the worst drought we've ever had. We lost 30 feet of lake water. We had to quit boat rides for six to eight months out of that year, wow. and we literally became locally known as the lost puddle. We had to walk down the stairs at the end of the boat dock, and the boat the boat dock was actually sitting out here next to the wall, oh, no. and it was on about five feet of water in this area right here. Oh, it shows you how much water we actually lost. Wow. wow. I'm dead serious. Up here by the dock area was just nothing but clay. It was a very sad time. Yeah, People got very angry, angry with us because the boat ride was like two minutes long. <laughs> it took you longer to load you onto your boat than your boat ride actually took on our lake. Okay. And we can't help it. We, if, we, if we have too much rain, we can take water out. We just can't bring it back if we have less amounts of rain. If we were to bring it? water down here, it would lose our right as being a natural underground body of water. So we can take it out, we just can't bring it back. Asher, Asher. Yeah, they came down here late, no water, but right? And I only got three people, so. They came down here late. Oh, that's like, were they on that my thing's missing yeah. still. I don't care if you don't care. No, I don't care. Like I said, like, like when, when we were coming out, like, they were walking with me? Yeah, they're on your door. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So we have to wait on nice them? Nice job, team. I got you. I thought since Clyde Tour was going to have, like, 18 people on it. Huh? Yeah. The six, no, I only had... The six had seven spots left.